Well, how many times do we from see it? That was frame ball. That would have put him 72 points in front with 67 remaining, but he's missed it. How many times do we see when the player's concentrating on a cannon? They you take your eye off the pot. There must be more pots missed for that reason than any other. Yeah, he's still a big favourite because Neil Robertson has no points to play with whatsoever. If he plays for the pink off this red, which looks the obvious ball to play for, he'll only be able to tie. He's 66 points behind, there's 67 remaining. Will he attempt to get back down for the black? He is doing. Well, he's played that beautifully. Good shot. Yeah, the two reds to the left at Black Hill. Come cushion first and try and play a little flick on the right hand side, one of those to hold the cue ball. Yeah, beautifully played. Eight. Well, the reds are all around the area of the black. Not impossible, this. Nine. I mean, if there was a normal score line, he'd be playing for black anyway. What a start to the session this would be for Neil Robertson. 16. <coughs> Obviously being a left-hander, the red on the right-hand side cushion is, is not ideal. And I don't think Neil can play right-handed shots, so... He needs to get nicely on that red because straight's no good. Because obviously he won't be able to get on the black in such a way to go up for the yellow. So that's the, the big shot in this frame. Whichever time he chooses, it'll be now. It's actually a good idea to take it now because even if he does land straight, it won't be such a a problem because of that last red he's left on the cushion, but he is perfect. He can bring the cue ball off the cushion. 24. This is what snooker at this level is all about. Pinching these frames, winning frames that, that you shouldn't really. Thank you. As Stephen said, it doesn't matter if you're straight on the black. Just make certain you don't leave yourself straight on the red near the top cushion. And if this red goes in and gets a nice angle on the black, we have a new favourite for this frame. 32. Yeah, if he negotiates this red, which I expect him to, The problem 33. is obviously brown, which is on the cushion, to blue, and then blue to get a nice angle on pink to get back down for black. So it's not straightforward clearance of the colours. Oh, I think he got a big bounce there. That cue ball's travelled a lot farther than I think he was expecting. 40. It seemed to come off the cushion at quite a big speed and quite square as well, almost hit the blue. Well, he's not straight on the green, but you may have to play this with a trace of left-hand side. Needs the five remaining colours to win by one. Pointing where the cue is, but as I say, I think he needs a trace of side. Only himself to blame. Easy pink to the middle, missed. 45. No, he's got a natural angle on this brown, but you can't take this brown for granted, particularly at the pace he's going to have to play to get nicely on the blue. Yeah, no problem. Oh, he really hit the ball with tremendous authority in this break. He really has, from the opening red to get back down from the black, it's, 
You have to say, the way he's gone round the table, his manner, it's never looked in doubt. And no hesitation. Yeah, um, more notorious, the fact that it's the first frame of the morning. 54. But he's still got to pot this pink and get position on the black. And just play one cushion or three cushions. It's the three. Needs that cue ball to stop. Yeah. What a steal this will be. Absolutely superb. <laughs> well, it does come back to the cruises. OK, Sean Murphy should have potted the pink to the middle. But fair play to Neil Robertson. It was tough, made it look easy. And now goes three clear. Six three.